Here's some of what's new in NoteTaker. You have thumbnails as well as the name and modification date, and there's also a page number. You can tap and be able to see them listed many to a line. Their favorites, tags. You can sort by modified and title. The tools are available to let you add pages, add a new type of page called a typed page. This is if you have the full version. And that's also added to the list and also gets a thumbnail. Other tools include deleting, reordering pages, setting tags, setting favorites, and in the full version, you can email as a PDF multiple pages. App settings has moved here. This is for the settings that are for the entire application. For, a, um, for an ink page, you tap the little gear to be able to get to the settings for it. And there's a tools button at the top for getting to the emailing, add photos, and transcribe if you have the full version. In transcribe, it's just like it was before, except that over here you can put in multiple lines. And as before, save copies to the pasteboard, but now you can use it to be able to paste into a type page if you want. Type pages also have their own their own settings. If you tap and hold on a page, you get tools for that page, including deleting, duplicating pages, setting little colored flags, and getting directly to the page settings if you want. Another change is that now cursive is handled better so that dotting I's and crossing T's are handled. Help now has a table of contents where you can look at all of the topics and choose them and of course there are a direct link to these YouTube videos. You'll find more information in the help and in these other online videos. I hope you like this new version of NoteTaker.